Now, my car of the year, here it is. It's the Ferrari 458 Speciale, which is the Italian for special. Uh, this is the successor to the 430 Scuderia, the 360 Stradale. It's the sort of more focused, slightly stripped out, slightly lighter, slightly sharper, slightly more gravelly version of the car we already know and love. Now, the thing I like about it is, whereas those previous cars were definitely well, you know, you paid more money and got less car and it smelled of glue a bit and you lost the things that make a Ferrari tasteful and Italian, like nice leather work, elegant stitching, that sort of thing. This retains most of that. It still feels like a 458, which I think is all things considered the best supercar in the world, but it's just a little bit more immediate. I mean, if you're interested in arithmetic, it's a tiny bit quicker to 60. It'll go around Fiorano faster than the standard 458. I believe it will go around the Nürburgring slightly quicker than an Enzo. The gear changes are marginally quicker on the way up, marginally quicker on the way down. It's got about 39 more horsepower, not something like 0.3 of a second off the 0 to 60 time and so on and so on. It's lighter, the wheels are lighter, the seats are lighter, the straps are more complicated. But that's not really the point. The point is, this is what their technical people would tell you. That is all really for the pursuit of driving pleasure, for the tactile senses of working a machine and feeling the machine telling you what it's doing. It's very difficult to articulate, especially if you're basically a bit simple like me. But as you drive, you feel there's a piece of machinery working on your behalf, doing what you commanded and doing it more more sharply really. It's like a soldier that goes to attention slightly more quickly than the soldiers around him or manages to cock his rifle more quickly. It's, it's a Ferrari 458 with a slightly brighter light shining on it. I really like it. I thought I wouldn't like it. I thought it would spoil it. I thought it would spoil the things about a Ferrari that I really love. I don't, I don't have a Ferrari because I mean, I do have a Ferrari, but I don't have it because it's a fast car. I have it because it's a lovely experience. It's a tasteful thing. It's an elegant thing. It's very stylish. It's very artistic. It's very visceral. The sensations are nice. I'm not bothered about going around a track as quickly as possible. I don't care if a Lamborghini or a McLaren is actually slightly quicker. That, that doesn't matter. It's like music. It's performative. It's designed to, to stimulate you. Um, and arithmetic doesn't do that, it's just numbers. So this car is still enough of a 458 to be pleasurable, but it's enough of more of a 458 to be slightly more sensational.